So how did you get involved in Biker Mice from Mars? Uh, how, did, how did Ryan Reynolds get involved with that? So, you know, what is what we're trying to do with Nacelle, you know, we're trying to build this shared universe of IPs because one of my theories is I think a lot of these IPs are great, but they, they don't really stand on their own. If you, if you look at Marvel, mm -hmm. and it's Marvel, right. you know what I mean? But even Marvel needs to have Iron Man, Black Widow, the Hulk. I don't need to name every single character. But my point is, I don't think, especially for a company like ours, uh, meaning small, um, I don't think you can just have one character. I don't think you can just have one man. So we're constantly out there trying to find toys that we love that we can actually acquire. So believe it or not, Transformers, uh, no, it's not available just yet. <laughs> so, you know, biker mice, you know, and by the way, it's, it's a long process between finding out something's available and actually getting it, mm. or even being able to negotiate. So for a couple of years, we were like trying to see, can we get it, can we get it? Finally, the rights holder was like, all right, let's see if we can work out a deal. And we got it. That's how we got it. Awesome. Um, Ryan Reynolds, we are already in business with him on a TV show called Discontinued. Um, so when it, you know, like with any business, you know, because of that show, if I'm talking to him every week, not to him personally, but if I'm working with his company every single week, and when you're making a TV show, it really is every day. Um, certain things happen, yeah. and in this case, we put out a press release saying. We got Biker Mice from Mars. And it turned out that his head of television, it was his favorite cartoon growing up, he spoke to Kevin. Kevin was like, oh my God, or sorry, Ryan. He spoke to Ryan, and Ryan was like, oh my God, yeah, I love that too. I don't know if you know this or not. Ryan is a huge motorcycle guy. Oh, really? A huge. So he had been aware of Biker Mice forever. And we worked out a deal. That's awesome. That's how it works. Yeah, it's pretty cool. boring. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty <laughs> I mean, straight show. No, no twists and turns. I feel like it was very exciting at the time, though. Uh, it's very exciting now. It was very exciting. It's just yeah. not a great twist and turn <laughs> kind of story. So, uh, so this is a shared universe with yes. Robo Force, Sectars, the only Biker thing Mars. not in it is our Legends of Laughter line, which okay. is Joan Rivers, Bill Hicks, and Lenny Bruce. I kind of want to see Joan Rivers. Really yeah. interesting Wouldn't if they were. Definitely be interesting. <laughs> yeah. And the Expanse. Okay. So the Expanse is a license we are blessed to have from uh, Alcon. Uh, but yes, Biker Mice, Cowboys and Moon Mesa, Power Lords, Sectors, Robo Force, and Biker Mice, all six. And technically, Big Lou. Okay, yep. Um, you know who Big Lou is? I don't, no. Okay, exactly. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's a shared universe. And it's growing. We're oh. in negotiation right now on two uh, two other worlds wow. that we're hoping to add. So how, how will this flesh itself out? I see you have some animated stuff going on. Yeah. Here. Is there going to be a cartoon? Yeah, Robo Force is in production right mm -hmm. now. Uh, and Ryan... Uh, biker mice. I must have Ryan mice from Mars. Uh, biker mice from Mars. Um, we just started writing that. So season one of the Nacelleverse. Is, season one of the Nacelleverse is Robo Force, and season two is Biker Mice from Mars. And if things, you know what, I'm not going to go there. But we do have a plan that brings this out to 2028. Nice. Very cool. Uh, what? Where will where will we be able to watch Mike uh, Mice and, and I can't Robo say Force? that yet, okay. but I can assure you, it is a place with a ninety nine percent accuracy uh, you have in your home already. All right, on the television. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Not on your microwave. Right. We, we wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> So what, what what that I'm looking at here is available now, and when will what is not available be available? Legends of Laughter is available right now. So is Garlu. So are these two. And everything else. Uh, sectors, uh, those will be in our offices in about three weeks. Um, they are going to be late 2024. Curmudgeon, that, and by the way, Curmudgeon is our first original character. That's a character from the Robo Force cartoon. Very cool. Um, so Curmudgeon will be out mid 24. Um, the Biker Mice, I, I, I want to make sure the camera's seeing my fingers crossed, uh, before Christmas this okay. year. Um, and the bikes uh, will hopefully be mid, uh, late, late Q, mid, 
late Q2 to late Q3, late, early Q3 um, 2024. Very cool. Uh, so will so the bikes come separately? Yes. Uh, will they come with any exclusives for the figures or? Um, no, okay. but each one comes with a hot dog. Oh, yes. Okay. That's kind of, I don't know what your bike or mice knowledge, but that's kind I, of their thing. I've seen, I've seen some yeah. biker mice from ours, but it was like the tail end of all those like silver hawks, but you know. All yeah. The, you know, but no, no they light up. Um, they all have stands that are kind of like, they're, you can see them, they're disguised like, you know, burning rubber. Mm -hmm. um, they all have their own accessories. They're, they're pretty, they're our first vehicle, our first attempt at anything with electronics, batteries, wires, all that wackiness. Um, one of them has, uh, we're using this optical mirror effect where the headlight lights up and it also lights up the dashboard. Oh. They all have accessories for the exhaust, um, like from the thrusters. So they come with a lot of accessories, mm -hmm. just nothing new for the characters. Okay, sure. And uh, with the cartoon, is it being marketed more towards people who feel nostalgic about the old ones so it's a little bit more adult or is it something that kid, is kid friendly as well? We're, we're, we're trying to hit the bullseye, the very difficult bullseye of both. So Biker Mice is, th those fan, like Robo Force, I calculate there might be 5,000 Robo Force fans and of that 5,500 are hardcore. Mm -hmm. Biker Mice? Worldwide, at least two or three million, could be five million, and probably 30% are hardcore. So what we need to do with Biker Mice is be religiously loyal to the original storyline, but also adding value. Like a lot of people would say, update. There's very little to update. There's a, there's a couple things in it that were, I, I would argue, not okay in, 20, in 1990. Um, but are sure as hell not okay in 2023. <laughs> so we're going to be updating that stuff. But we're not, I, I don't like that word update when you had like with RoboForce, we had to update everything because sure, there was nothing. Yeah. There was nothing. There was a, a horrible comic book, an even worse pilot. Yep. So it was very easy to, to update. But with Biker Mice, we're not updating it. For the most part, we're adding value. Mm -hmm. We're trying to come up with storylines that work on top of what has already been done. So that's what we're trying to do. So if we get it right, and who knows if we will, but we are trying, it, it's to do both. Cool. And so now I see you're wearing a Whaling Yutani, yes. uh, or Whaling Corp, just, just Whaling Corp. Is, is, that a, is that an Easter egg? Is that going to... Is this going to add to the shared universe? My official answer, which is truthful, this is my favorite hat. It's, my, it's the only hat ever I've bought when I lost one. I bought another. And this actually, as of two weeks ago, is my third. Oh. Um, it's my favorite hat. And good for you for noticing that you're tiny um, But it is in reference to two things. One, my love of aliens, ironically. No, you tell me. Um, but two, it is... There is something else we're working on that is not here. Okay. Uh, that this is connected to. Very cool. Yes. Very cool. I was just kidding, but that. That's, yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> groundbreaking scoop. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, that'd be my first scoop of the time. Uh, very cool. Uh, is there anything else uh, that you would like to let let, let our viewers know about? Uh, did I mention uh, the, the, the vehicles of lights? Yes. Um, the other thing also, again, this might not mean anything to anybody, but I, I think it's cool. Um, if you look at the Kamudgeon packaging for RoboForce, um, we went, so you can see the packaging for the first wave, um, which I know why I did what I did, but let's just say maybe... I, uh, I wanted to make a drastic change, and you can see that drastic change. So, it, so we, even though it's an original character mm -hmm. from our show, we went back to that kind of old school vintage packaging for RoboForce, and that'll be the packaging going forward for RoboForce. So you can also see Sentinel over there with the yellow shoulder pads. Uh, she as well is going to have that vintage style packaging with a modern twist. Very cool. Very cool. I, the sectors have the old school packaging as well. Yes. Which I, yes. I find their shields in every box from my childhood. Oh yeah. Just all their little gold weapons is everywhere. 
Well, if you're a Step Torch fan, yeah. so you know, Stellara never got made. Right, yeah. So this is literally the first time she's been in physical form. Very cool. Um, so very, very excited about that. And the factory, I mean, look at her armor. Yeah, I mean, that, the they, they did. Beautiful. That is not easy to do. Yeah. I don't know. I, I always feel the need to point, because, like, you know, <laughs> I have over 4,000 toys. I love mm. toys. Yep. But until two years ago, I never really knew how they were made, mm-hmm. like from a granular physical le- layer, yeah. you know, level. That was yes. hard to do. Yes. <laughs> and we, it, it, she's about, both of them, but it really was her fault. I'm blaming you, Stellara. <laughs> um, we're probably, we lost six weeks oh, wow. going back and forth to get that color right. Yeah. So, um, so I'm, I, I'm very biased, but I believe that we eventually got great. it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, are there so are there going to be hand puppets? Um, God willing, Insect yes. Insect hand puppets. Okay. God willing, yes. That was my favorite part. Yes, yeah. they're, uh, that's everybody's favorite part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stay, stay tuned. Okay, excellent. And what about the castle? Do you have the the place? That here? that we'll see about that. Like a lot of things have to go right because Robo Force. You know, again, it's a cartoon. True. Biker Mice, Cartoon, the toy lines are coming out in between. Mm-hmm. If all of that, go- and by the way, it's going great. Yep. I mean, Biker Mice, the bikes have been on sale since Friday. Okay. Obviously, today's Sunday. We've already sold enough to cover our costs. So if things keep going the way they're going, yes, there will be a castle. And the Empress will be uh, on top of it. And he will happily buy. I will. I have the old one. We need more people like that. I have the old one. I have it in a box. I have the box still somewhere up in Hold my on to I will, Don't I have, throw I, out I, that I'm box. I'm not going to get rid of it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I can't believe it's lasted this long. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. For, thank you. Uh, hey. Go ahead. <laughs> Where did you go? What did you say?